So we have someone here who's kind. So we have kindness. <clears throat> Defend. Confidence. And deal. So someone is admiring someone who's in the upright, a divine feminine masculine's kindness. Um, it's like you're the defender of the weak. Um, you're kind, you're confident. Someone wants to partner up with you and make some sort of deal with you. And love is the only one that came out in the reverse. So this could be a past love. This could be somebody you were actually in a relationship with in this lifetime. Or this could be somebody from your past life um, that you were meant to reconnect with in this lifetime. And then sideways, I have patience, victory, work, adaption, and strength. So that could be now or near future energy. <clears throat> You could be patiently waiting for some sort of victory. You've been working really hard. Um, you know, minding your P's and Q's, staying on the right side of the wheel of fortune. Um, your adaptability game is hella strong um, because you're strong. That tigress energy, that tiger energy, that lioness um, that's inside you. You're a true shapeshifter, but not in a negative way. Your adaptability, um, whatever comes your way, it's like you're fluid. You can um, navigate those streams. You just kind of go with the flow. You're um, being divinely guided. You listen to your guidance. Um, you know, it's not always that easy to have patience, but you know that patience is what is going to bring you victory. So in the meantime, while you're waiting for some sort of victory or, um, you know, the ending to some horrible cycle that you've tried to get out of um, you know you're defending yourself you're defending other people's you're kind you know your confidence is high um, but other people can take that as arrogance but somebody wants to partner up with you and make some sort of deal with you so let's get, ooh. that just flipped out <laughs> so somebody has a gambling problem or an addiction so problems with addiction gambling or bad finances so somebody has an addiction problem or a gambling um, issue that would be a karmic energy um, this person could want you to open up your heart it'll help you attract more love so this person that has an addiction could be opening up their heart or they could be wanting you to open up yours to them i'm going to caution you though um i know we haven't gotten too far into this but if this is a karmic person um they may be trying to teach you a lesson and if you already learned those lessons about dealing with people who have addictions and gambling <clears throat> don't do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. This person could be at a distance from you emotionally or physically. They could be coming across as distant. Um, maybe your heart is open to them where, um, you know, I feel like someone's trying to exploit someone's kindness. It's like they're taking your kindness for weakness. So I'm even though you come across as um, a high vibrational person, someone is trying to play on your weaknesses. This person may not be aware of how far you've come emotionally um, or on your spiritual path. Um, so someone may have an addiction. They're wanting you to overlook, but this, this person could be emotionally unavailable um, because they might not have done the healing work that they needed to do to heal themselves. This could be the past love situation. We have vacation in the reverse. You will be traveling soon. So somebody may have thought that they were going to be traveling soon um, towards you. Or they maybe have expected you to go traveling towards them. It's somebody who might have expected you to chase after them. Maybe you ghosted them because of some sort of addiction or habit. And maybe they expected you to chase them. Or they left you and expected you to go following after them. We have the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this person thought that if maybe they moved away, you would come chasing after them. Maybe if they withdrew emotion. So this is someone who's not healed because they're playing too many emotional games. This is kind of bullshit. This is, yes, luck is on your side in the reverse. Luck is not on their side. They're having bad luck. They had this plan. They had this plot to um, emotionally manipulate a divine femur masculine. And they want you to open up your heart to them, but they have some sort of addiction. This could be a sex addiction, a drug addiction, a drinking addiction. Um, this person is distant from you. They're not showing their hand, especially emotionally. They've like cut off their emotions towards you. And then they expected you to like chase after them. 
that's like that narcissistic energy who um it's like they play games with someone it's like they try to trauma bond with them and it's like a narcissist and an empath when they get together the narcissist will play on the empath's need to help people and it's like they take advantage of that like they want to be saved you need to save somebody i need to be saved let's work together um <laughs> let's get together what do you say uh hell to the naw um I feel like this is a bad, bad idea um, for you if you're considering this. Um, maybe you learned your lesson in the last lifetime, and I guess we'll find out. You, I'm going to warn you, though. Um, I heard that we're in Mercury retrograde or approaching or something like that. So be careful, because it's the time to find out if you've learned your past lessons or not. So there could be someone showing up from your past, even from a past life, to you know, test you to see if you actually learned your lesson from the last time. Um, so be careful. Not everyone, you know, I know I do readings sometimes where the, you know, someone from the past and you are meant to reconnect. This is not one of those cases. I, I'm strongly getting that this would be a bad idea for this specific scenario. Um, so just be careful. Um, someone could be going on a rant. Someone could be losing their shit. Um, someone could be exploding. It's like, why didn't this work? Why aren't you chasing me? Why don't you love me? Why can't I force you to... Oh, yeah, someone's... Someone is... Uh, this is a big no-no. <laughs> I'm fast to give you a reference point. I'm somewhere between a snake, a mongoose, and a panther. So this person did something really quick. And they're like, this is gonna work. This person is, it's like they thought you were low vibrational, so they thought that if they did something, it's like they thought they had you figured out. If I do this, they'll do that. They thought that they were playing chess, but obviously they don't know how chess is played um, because they were going off some old information or they didn't have the information. Um, they thought they knew what moves you were going to make. Through concentration, I can raise and lower my cholesterol at will. So this person thought if they concentrated really, really hard, they could control you and make you bend to their will. I'm hearing bend the knee. So someone expects you to submit and bow down to them and fall in line. So mm, that kind of goes against everything I just said at the very beginning with everything you represent. Because you're in this for the long haul. You're a light worker. Um, and you're sure as hell um, not going to put up with someone who treats you like shit if you're as high vibrational as these cards say you are. So, for the high priest or priestess that has already learned their lesson, you're not going to deal with this person. But they feel like you will. Or they're getting upset that they tried everything that they could try and it didn't work. They could have gotten a message that um, whatever plans they had backfired. <clears throat> I'm better than you or ever have been or ever will be. So this person thinks they know more than you and better than you. So if you have different religious beliefs or different um, theology, you know, even philosophy, um, if you differ from this person, they think that they're always right. And that's where they got it wrong. They're standing there with their arms crossed. You're going to do as I say, not as I do kind of shit. Like, <laughs> really? It's like a, a, a pair or someone who stands there with their arms crossed, you know, the child's acting out and they're going to give them that evil glare until they start acting right. This person thought that if they put you through enough hell, you'd start acting right and do what they wanted you to do. And this person had you all kinds of fucked up. You see the look on his face? You looked up like, you're like, uh, what'd you say to me, motherfucker? <laughs> uh, come again. You want to repeat that? My ancestors didn't hear you loud enough, boo. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the look on his face is like, um, I don't think I heard you right. What did you say to me? So someone um, thought that, you know, um, they could get high and mighty. So I'm seeing someone who got really haughty, like, and even raised their voice an octave or two and got real stern and crossed their arms. And um, you're just like, you lower your glasses and you're like, um, <clears throat> uh, repeat that, please. Um, I didn't quite catch that. Come again. <laughs> Uh, this is somebody who thinks that they're better than everyone else. This is someone who thinks that their opinion um, is just the end-all, be-all. They think that they're right and everyone else is wrong. This is really, really someone who has damaged goods here. And, you know, everyone has the opportunity to heal, but um, they had their chance to heal, you know, and they refused to do the work. 
Oh wait, is that on your face? Is that a disguise of clown paint? So this person disguised their true intentions, their true personality, even their motivations. So they're hiding what their true intentions are for you. This could be somebody who actually disguises, um, you know, uh, for some, this could even be their own sexuality or something, but, um, or the fact that they're a gold digger or that they're a narcissist or that they're a manipulator or control freak. This person's really good at disguising themselves. And here you are, just, you're just sitting there, like you're in your boss energy, just like, Oh, really? So that's what we're doing now. So you want to, you want attitude. So this person crossed their arms. Look at this. So they, they got all high and mighty with you and crossed their arms and you crossed your arms right back. It's like, all right, if you want to have an attitude, I'll show you attitude. So you may have, you know, this person may have, like I said, it, they took your kindness for weakness. So they're like, oh, this person's all love and light. I'll just, you know, be an asshole to them and they'll just take my shit. Well, you gave that shit back to this person. You're like, all right, that's that's how we're going to play this. Okay. And then you let this motherfucker have it, man or woman. You you gave him a piece of your mind. Excuse me, get off those. They're show bales, not play bales. You called them out on their bullshit. You're like, I know you're fucking hiding something. I know you're not who you say you are. I know, blah, blah, blah. So you just called them out on all their bullshit. And they were not expecting that. They were like, wait, 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 whoa, 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 hold up. We're not talking about me. We're talking about you here. You know, they jumped to that gaslighting projection shit. Like, no, 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 this isn't about me. And you're like laying out facts. You're like, no, it's like, you have a list of this shit. Like on this date, you did this, you said this, you did that. Uh, but your actions are not matching up with the words that you said. And this person's like, whoa, 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 whoa. But remember that time you didn't put the laundry in the dryer? And it's like, that, that has nothing to do with what we're fucking talking about, dumbass. Like, like they're trying everything. Like, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. They weren't expecting you to, you know, um, defend yourself or fight back. Um, which leads us to a big decision. The, uh, you know, it's like, Okay, so where do we go from here? We're obviously at an impasse. Um, we obviously disagree on what's going on. So the the question remains, where where do we go from here? Okay, so you're not going to just agree to disagree because that's just not how you operate. So we can't live in peace and harmony. So if you were in a relationship with this person, this could have actually ended up in like a divorce situation. Um, you know, if this is a past person that you were actually with, because this person just didn't want to agree to disagree. So you have made a decision or may have made a decision. And this person was like, wait, wait, what would you say? You're just not going to agree with me. Um, that, that's not what we're doing here. You're supposed to agree with me. That's how this works. And you're just like, mm, but I don't think so. So let me tell you how this is really going to go. And then you lay down, you know, how it's going to go. You, you may have given this person an ultimatum and giving an ultimatum to a narcissist is like, oh, I don't fucking think so. Like they lost their shit. They're like, oh, you want to play that? I'm going to be a dumbass and do some more stupid shit. So this person did some things they thought they were funny um, based on those emotions because they're emotionally unbalanced. So, you know, Dwight's here all smiling in the reverse. So they did some slick shit that they thought was funny. So it's like, okay, this person doesn't want to be with me. Um, I'm going to force them to do something. So this person did something against your will to try to force you to do something against your will. And... If you're as high vibrational as, you know, I believe you are, for those who are in the um, up and up here, you're like, okay, so this is how this is going to play out. You can suck my balls. And then you walked away. And they were like, what? If you walk away, I'm going to take your kid. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get you for child support. I'm going to fuck up your life royally. I'm going to get you fired. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do... You go right ahead, sir. You go right ahead. Or ma'am. This is definitely could be a woman as well. Um, and this person was all up in their emotions because they're not strong. They're a coward. That's why they have to bully someone. They have to use bullying tactics to get what they want. That's why they're all up in their emotions and their feelings. Um, they were trying to stop you from getting any other offers. It's like, okay, well, if this person's not going to do what I want them to do, I'm going to make sure they don't get any offers with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. I'm going to make sure that... 
whatever money they try to get, I'm going to fuck that up for them. Whatever seeds they plant, whatever job they get, I'm going to fuck that up. They're not going to make any money. Not as long as I'm still breathing kind of shit. Like, this person is really on a power trip. Meanwhile, you heal. Like, you're, you're like, I'm over this shit. This is the king of wands in the reverse. This is not a leader. This is a control freak. This is someone who lost their shit. They're not compassionate. They're not protective. They're not loving or caring. Um, and they could have been in their player energy. So they could have been cheating on you as well because it's like, okay, well, if you don't do what I want, I'll go find someone who will. And then they went and stuck their dick or, you know, whatever and whomever. And it's like, okay, well, I'll show you like to teach you a lesson. And you're just like, all right, that's how you want to play it. You can look like the fool. I'm out. So yeah, they ended up coming up looking like a fool. They tried to create some injustices for you, and you're just like, okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna call this Ten of Swords. It's done. I'm done dealing with you. It's like if that's what you're gonna go through, or put me through, or th if those are the links that you're going to go to to put me through this shit, I'm done. You Ten of Swords this shit. And this person was not expecting that. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So someone has snapped. They tried to stop you from enjoying those sweeter things in life with the Nine of Cups. Every time you were happy or enjoying something, the Four of Swords, they would come in and try to stick another sword on your back. Oh, they're smiling today. Um, I'm going to send them a text message that's going to get under their skin and irritate them. I'm going to pick a fight with this person. Um, there's an investigation going on here. There, there's someone watching with the Seven of Swords. They didn't want you to get any sort of recognition or accolades. Anything that you do that people appreciate you for or respect you for, they try to put an end to this. And um, that shit's over and done with. They um, brought a death to their own um, whatever that they were doing. I don't even fucking know. Like... I mean, if you were, if you're like a spiritualist and you know, this person, it does whatever, um, they're not getting any sort of recognition. This person thought that they could get some award from like bashing you. It's like, oh, if I knock this person off their pedestool, um, everyone else will view me as a hero because I'm going to make this person look like shit. That's exactly what they did. This person went behind your back and tried to to um, assassinate your character and make you look like shit because they thought it would give them some sort of award or accolade or recognition within the community and they made themselves look stupid by doing this oh yeah so you could have told them to pack their shit and get out and they weren't expecting that with the backpack spinning top and a charging bull it's like all right you want to act like a reckless bull in a china shop get the fuck out of here and they said, I'm not coming back. And you're like, okay, don't let the fucking door hit you. Get out. Go. Like, who's stopping you? Like, stop trying to argue with me. I done told you I'm done. Like, this person was trying to argue their way back out of it. You told them to hit the bricks. You tend to swords this because they were a pig. They're not creative. They're not soaring to new heights. Um, you started counting and adding up all the bullshit they put you through. And you're like, you know what? Mm -mm. No, it's not worth my time, my energy, my money. They were keeping secrets. They don't want you to spill the tea. They don't want you to expose them for who they are because that would be a bad no-no. So they started planting bad seeds about you, talking shit about you, um, and breadcrumbing you, making you think that they were still your friend, but they were taking your information and slandering you behind your back. They started, um, they stopped like answering their phone in front of you or talking to people in front of you because every time, okay, so like this is someone who would like start putting their phone on silent. It's like when you all first got together, you know, this person would be answering their phone. They'd be having conversations with everybody, like, right in front of you. They didn't have a problem with it. All of a sudden, this person wasn't getting phone calls anymore, and their phone was on silent, and they're like, well, I'll just call them back. That's because they started talking shit about you then. You know, is it ringing true, you know, for, ever, for whoever this message is for? They wanted you to feel alone and isolated. They wanted you to solely depend on them because they're the codependent. They were trying to force you into codependency so that they could say that about you when in fact they're the codependent narcissist because they don't heal from their wounds. You have resources coming to you and there's going to be some sort of communication about this snake trying to put something in your path or stop you or suspend you. Um, someone's trying to, the snake is trying to stop your resources, doing some sort of communication. Well, I'm going to write a letter. I'm going to get a cease and desist order, blah, blah, blah. This person's singing the blues and they're throwing a temper tantrum like a child because they didn't get their way. Um, 
they thought they had an ace up their sleeve with playing cards. You could have been a tarot reader. Maybe they found out that you're a reader or something. Uh, maybe they got a card reading and found out um, things are not going to go in their favor. Or maybe they got a bad reading and someone told them something was going to go in their favor and it, it wasn't. Someone wants to travel towards you or you're going to be traveling. Uh, someone's traveling towards you to make some sort of announcement. This person didn't offer you your flowers. They were not caring, not empathetic, not, you know, they didn't give a shit about you. They could have said you were a bad parent. This could also be a bad parent who, um, you know, acted as if um, they had a right to be all up in your business. Something is going to be announced. The missing piece of a puzzle. There's going to be a big announcement here with a jigsaw puzzle. It's like the missing piece of the puzzle as to why you gave this person your mar their marching orders. So someone is seeing the light. Someone's like, oh, now I see what happened here. So this person spent all their time playing hula hoop with you and trying to stop you from celebrating. And now people are seeing that. They're like, Oh, so it wasn't the Divine Femur Masculine's fault that this person's fucking crazy. They they are crazy. They were trying to make us all think that this other person was the bad one, but they're the, they're the crazy ones. So somebody's mask fell off. In a bad, bad way. Just saying. Alright, anything else? Alright, let's get some message cards here. Sorry, I didn't pick up my phone. It, what did I say? You know why they didn't pick up their phone? Because you were standing right there and they didn't want you to hear what they were going to say about you. All the shit that they were talking. You were scammed. This person didn't really love you. This was a false twin flame situation. So there were good cops and good law officials that did not use their intuition regarding this person. They fell for the trap. They fell. These people were scammed, um, honestly. Um, not not just you initially with this person. Maybe you thought they were a good person at first. But they scammed these good law officials. They didn't use their intuition regarding this person. They were manipulated just like they manipulated you in the beginning of the relationship. So if they think you're the crazy one, they're just as fucking crazy or stupid for believing the bullshit too. However... You caught on to shit real quickly. And you tolerated things for a while, but eventually you're just like, no, this has to end. You can't uh, you can't be with this. They fell for the trap. These good law officials didn't use their intuition and they fell for a trap. They fell for the the slander, the um the the manipulation. I mean, they were trying to destroy a divine femur masculine. And just because these people had similar religious beliefs, they fell for the trap. They're like, oh, this person's a pastor. Oh, this person's a Christian. Oh, this person's a deacon. Oh, this person goes to the same church as me. Um, you know, we have the same denomination. So? What the fuck does that matter? That has nothing to do with what people do behind closed doors. Get your shit straight, man. They didn't help you when you needed them. These law officials didn't help you when you needed them. Where the fuck were they when this person was using the courts to harass, bully you, and keep you? It's like if you had a job or something, you could have been going into court so many times. Then this person was calling CPS on you, getting your kids, you know, trying to get your kids taken away, and, you know, putting you under investigation constantly, and your job's just like, you know what? Like, we just, we can't. We can't deal with this. Your personal life's interfering with work. And then they would cause you to lose your job. And this person would be like, see, I told you they were lazy pieces of shit that wouldn't go to work. Are you fucking kidding me? Get your facts straight, you psycho piece of shit. You are fucking delusional. This, this energy is delusional. They are seriously nuts. You're going to get some sort of unexpected money or an inheritance... This person's anxious. There was no good reason for what they did. You probably want to punch this person. I want to punch their energy right now. I mean, Jesus. You don't love this person anymore. You didn't see them clearly. There's something this person didn't see clearly. You aren't seeing clearly. This person didn't see something clearly. 
Someone is purposefully lying to cover their ass. These law officials, a lot of people, did not want to see the truth about this person. They didn't want to see it clearly because they like being in denial. You may have been deceived for a short period of time, but you caught on real fucking quick. And as soon as this motherfucker crossed their arms, you crossed your arms and you said, what now, bitch? And then all hell broke loose because this person wanted to act like they were a child. I thought this was high school. No, bitch, I graduated. Obviously, you didn't go back. This person has too many fake profiles to count. <sighs> There's a soulmate connection somewhere amongst this or after this. This person could have tried to um, convince you that they were your soulmate, but it was a false twin flame. There's a friend that was involved in this. Don't believe what you hear. Your friend got involved or their friend got involved. Someone's friend got involved after they believed rumors, something that they heard. They told people that you cheated on them, that you were the whore. They said you got pregnant or faked a pregnancy or maybe they slept with a friend because they're the king of wands in the reverse. So they slept with a friend, could have been your friend. Their friend could have faked a pregnancy or got pregnant and they could have said, don't believe them. I would never touch them. You know, you see that word on their face. You see the, you know, see their nose. You see their chin, you know, you see their butt. I would never touch them. They're not, you know, and meanwhile, they were fucking them the whole time. This person is sick. But if you question them on anything, oh, as soon as you crossed your arms back, it was game over for this person and they lost their sh They They made it their life's mis mission to destroy you the moment you stood your ground with them. It's all fun and games when you're being the one, you know, when you're in, when you feel like you're in control of another person. But when that person takes their power back, oh shit, when you, yeah. When you get put in your place, it's a little different, doesn't it? They moved on. It's over. They moved on from you. It's over. Someone is a little wet behind the ears. So this person moved on with someone that they thought was better than you. Uh, but they were not a season. They don't know how to be a wife or a husband or a mother or a father. Um, this person still acts just as childish as this narcissist. So, I mean, you know, it's a karmic match made in heaven. This person was not sincere. Marge could be significant. Someone's going to be as white as a sheet. They wanted you to be put back to square one. And they drew the line in the sand. They're like, if you do this, I'm going to do that. And you're just like, all right, prove it, bitch. They opened up a whole can of worms by testing you because you stood your ground. You did not back down. No matter how painful it was for you, every dog has its day. You broke this cycle. You're like, fuck this, I'm out. This person had no guts, no glory in July. They went all in with this shit. They did something in July. They were dedicated to destroying you. I mean, they were dedicated. They didn't want to read between the lines. They they were just out to, to destroy you. I mean, they, that, they're, they were seeing red. They had tunnel vision. That's all they care about. To add insult to injury, something could be happening this Thursday with a Gemini. Um, you do things from a heart space of love. Someone who is your opposite could be attracted to you. This person didn't want you to beat the odds, Pisces, against all odds. They wanted to make sure you didn't beat any odds. Better late than never. You never looked back. This person made you miserable. They didn't want you to be happy. They didn't make you happy, so this person didn't love you. This was unrequited love. All right, let's pull a few letters. They loved the control, not you. They loved to control you. They didn't love you as a person. They're incapable of it. G, person, place, or thing. This person does not know how to love because they were never loved properly and they refused to heal. G and you. So G unit, 50 cent could be significant. I'll take you to the candy shop. <laughs> okay. I'll let you lick the lollipop. <laughs> E. Keep going until you hit this spot. Whoa. You. Q. I. T. So technology could be significant. Last one. And A. 
All right, I hope this helps, folks. Have a good day.